YouTube. We got a package in the mail, and you know I'm still here with Wavy Kid. Cake. So we got a package in the mail, and uh, it's from Stylecraft. You already know. Let's get it in. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Okay. We don't need the box. Fall! Why is it why is it taking so long? Okay. Wow. YouTube so before you actually start cutting what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the hair out make sure everything is laid before I start cutting because you don't want to start cutting on a sloppy canvas okay how you start is how you finish so make sure you start off neat so now I'm gonna set in my guideline but first I'm gonna lay that hair down making sure everything is nice and neat and set in my bald line with my Babyliss FX trimmers now I'm gonna set it straight I'm not gonna put a bend to it because of my clients head shape um, I just don't think that it would look right with the uh, afro so I'm just gonna clear out the bulk set that first guideline in and make sure it's at as neat as possible So next, using my Andis Cordless Masters um, with the one guard with the lever open, I'm gonna clear out this bulk. Now I'm gonna go up about a full inch, clearing out the bulk, making sure I scoop out into the afro because you want it to blend into the afro and you don't wanna set in a harsh guideline. So next, I'm gonna set the lever fully closed and basically freehand um, from that one guard into the afro so what i'm doing is building that shape this isn't the final shape it's just building that look so that i can visually see how it's gonna look at the end now that i have the bolt cleared out in the shape that i want I'm going in and I'm setting in my guidelines. Now I'm gonna use my lever open and I'm gonna go up about a half inch, making sure I go over the guidelines multiple times to ensure that it's at that lever open length. Next, I'm gonna go back with the one guard with the lever fully open, basically just going up about a half inch. Uh, I just wanna do this so that I ensure that, you know, all the steps that I'm taking is correct and I'm following the steps as is to where I could get that finished product that I'm looking for. Now working back down with my zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Keep in mind that I'm going below the line, flicking to the line. And if I need to go up anymore, I'm gonna adjust my lever open as I go up. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, same thing that I did with the zero guard with the middle line, I'm doing the same thing with the bottom line, okay? I'm flicking out below the line, flicking to the line and adjusting my lever as I go higher. Next, I'm gonna use my rebel shavers just to make the bottom half razor ball. And last but not least, what you want to do is detail your work, all right? Uh, detailing is very important. Um, it separates you from being just an average barber to being that elite barber that, you know, a lot of us want to be. What you want to do is basically use your corners, debulk those areas, and to do that, 
I like to utilize my mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend that you can't just see head on, all right? So make sure you guys get that second perspective. So as you can see, my client's afro is very uneven. I'm gonna use my afro shears, basically just to shape a little bit um, into that afro that I want. This is not gonna be the final step. This is just me trying to visually get an idea on how I want it to look. the back goes i basically use the same exact steps i go in bald line um next wet my lever open then one guard open then i'll clean up that area between the one guard and the afro basically knocking down that that area uh then go back down with my zero guard with the lever closed flick out that middle line and lastly attack that bottom line with the lever fully closed um also i want to give a shout out to all the you know barber instructors that show my you know videos in their classrooms i really appreciate you guys uh it, it really definitely means a lot that you guys are uh, taking a time out to show my work uh for you guys as students so shout out to all the instructors now behind my client's ears when it's when it comes to afros i like to take that down uh with the one guard basically just run it down so where you can make the lineup behind the ears visible now sometimes um depending on the 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 client and how the afro is your clients may not want that done but um it all depends on how he comes in all right you got to judge it on how it looks and and go off of that i know for a fact that he wanted that 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 lineup around the ear visible so i just went with the one guard with the grain so next is where i take the shape serious and i use my uh andis cordless masters with the lever closed and i'm just shaping the afro to its final stage all right this is where you get all those frizzy hairs off the top you really pay attention you work from bottom to top um, the reason why i work from bottom to top is because my hand is able to swing out in a full circular motions from the bottom to the top rather than side to side so make sure you guys utilize that tip as well So the same thing that I did on the side behind the ear is what I'm going to do in the front. I'm going to pull the hair down with my comb, making sure everything nice and neat. And with the one guard, with the lever open, I'm going to run it straight down just in that edge area to lay that hair down. So when I line it up, it could come out crispy. And a lot of times what this does is it prevents overhang from that afro, you know, going over the lineup. So just make sure you double check with your client to see if that's okay, see if that's what they want but it definitely makes the lineup last longer as well
listen before you come in you get your hair cut you're looking bad you're looking sad they don't want you to look good and feel good about yourself but god did you too this is the cut and if you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button also hustle dreams production that's my brother he does all my beats his youtube channel will be linked in the description below make sure you guys go give him a follow also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360Jeezy and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. But it's your boy 360Jeezy, and I'm out of here.